Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Partners in Cream project pan that is created by Steph and Dallin and we are a bunch of lovely ladies that are doing this project this year focusing on our cream products so they don't go bad and just get some use out of them basically. I have four products that is kind of what we could choose. I think it was between three and six not entirely sure. I have my four products and I have some okay progress. I wouldn't say amazing, but that is the standard at the moment for my projects. I'm just doing okay. <laughs> I think this is the product that you can see the least progress on. This is my gel eyeliner from um, L'Oreal. I have used this the most out of the four, but because it is a gel eyeliner, it goes very slowly. But again, I have been wearing it a lot and every single time I have worn makeup, except for this weekend actually it too looks... I haven't seen the picture so maybe you can see some progress and maybe not, but I don't feel like I have that much progress. This is what I have left of the eyeliner, there's not that much in it but I still have a fair bit. I am using the product from this side over here. Um, but yes, this is where I am right now. Just checking along <laughs> slowly, but kind of consistent, I think. Then we have my Strobe Struck Cream Highlighter from W7. This is the packaging if you wouldn't, if you, if you care. It's so, messed up and scratchy but that just shows that I am using it. This is where I was last time and this is where I am now. Have I used half? Maybe, maybe not, not quite. I do think I need this little bit to be completely halfway through the product. I am using it almost every single time I wear makeup but it is mostly when I wear foundation because it is... it's not too dark because I have gotten a tan. It doesn't look like it on camera, but I have. <laughs> but I do think it is a little bit too dark on my bare skin. Still, uh, if I only wear concealer, but yeah, I really, really like it. And I use it on my cheekbones, my nose and the cupid bow. And I have worn it on my body a few times on vacation. The weather is not with us at the moment in Denmark, so I'm not wearing sleeveless tops as much. And the last two products comes from my Xianexo uh, BS Cosmetics um, collaboration. And this is an eyeshadow palette and a lipstick palette, and I am working on two lipsticks from this. Last time I rolled in the more coral shade up here, but I haven't used it uh, for the last month, so no progress there at all. But I have used this lighter one quite a bit. And as you can see, I only have this little bit left, which is really exciting. I have paired it with another lip color on my lips right now, so it's um, not as pale. Because on its own, it's very pale. But mixed in with some in something else, it is more natural and really really nice. So I'm pretty excited to have this done soon. I do think I can do that by next update and I think that is going to be my goal. And a goal for this will be to be officially halfway so to clear out that little portion up here. And I just need to focus on that bit because I tend to use the middle and not this up here. I don't like to use the sides for some reason but that is the goal, to be officially halfway. And this is just... It's going and I'm using it, so that is a good thing. But I don't have a specific goal because I can't finish it by next update. I know that for sure. Um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this small video and update. Check out the other ladies if you want to see some more panning projects and just some videos in this series in general. I don't have that much more to say because I am using my products almost every single day, which is uh, really good. The lipsticks I am mostly working on when I get home from work and then reapply when I get home. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye.